my name is Moses Komakech. I'm a graduate. Um, I did Bachelor's of Economics uh, from Deje University, Mango Campus. And I finished uh, in 2013. Yes, in 2013. And uh, I just am so thankful to the President of the Republic of Uganda, His Excellency Yuwe Kaguta Museveni, for giving me the opportunity to have education. I know it's difficult, uh, it's, it's been very difficult for me throughout my life, uh, the way from uh, captivity until when my mother came out with me. Unfortunately, she passed on. But uh, thanks to, uh, to the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yuweri Kaguta Museveni, I've been able to achieve education. And uh, of course, unfortunately, also I don't have work. But I'm just trying to survive and I do volunteer work here and there. I'm doing my every best. Uh, I'm doing my best and I'm trying my level best to always contribute to the development of my country. Okay. What would be your message to the community members you know, about uh, stigmatizing uh, children or former uh, perhaps uh, LRA commander and people who have been in captivity? And how can they live at peace with them? Um, I think I think what we should do, the community members, the different communities where we live in, what we need to do is have, we should build a heart of forgiveness for everything that happened. We should build a heart of forgiveness and we should have the heart of reconciliation. You know, we have to live, develop a heart of how to live in harmony. You know, we are all one people. We are all uh, Acholi people. We are all Northerners. We are all Ugandans. Hmm. So we need to live together, learn how to live together in harmony. You know, let's be our brother's keeper or our sister's keeper. You know? So uh, we need to live together in harmony. We need to learn to live together in harmony. You said some people had been blaming you for this war. In your own uh, 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 suggestion, what would you think would have happened about this war? What What do you think your father would have done you know, about this uh, war that has, you know, brought in you know uh, untold sufferings here and also part of it has built to you you know the stigma what do you think your father would have done you know to best uh, it's it's difficult to to really uh, to know what you would have done you know uh, but it's really unfortunate that there was a conflict and a lot of uh, a lot of people were affected a lot of lives were lost and it's really sad I feel hurt and I feel sad when I think of that but the best way to do is to reconcile, you know, reconcile, forgive each other for what everything that happened. You know, let's see how we can build the community. Let's see how, how we can build a Choli as a tribe, Northern Uganda as a region, and how to build Uganda as a nation. You know, let's think about reconciliation. That's the only way to go. Is reconciling the nation. The only way to everlasting peace. That's reconciliation. Wherever he is, what would be your message right now as a son, as a first son, you know, to him? And you haven't seen him for a long time, since 2006. Uh, for me, my only message to him is, Father, please come home and uh, reconcile with the people of northern Uganda, reconcile with the government of Uganda, and so that we can all live in peace. We all want peace and we are all peace-loving people. Um, I haven't been able to reach my father. I only reached my father during the peace talk 2006, that's all. That's under his request, and I requested the government of Uganda to, you know, to have me taken to him, and that was when he went, and of course I engaged him. But the issue of, uh, of, of course, the, the issue of peace is he wants peace. That's what I know. But the rest of the context of the conflict, I don't have knowledge of that. But he wants peace. That's, that's, that's what uh, the message I got. He wants peace. For Uganda, for actually, for everywhere. My message would be only one message is that uh, we want him to return home as a family so that as the region, as a children, we can reconcile and live together in peace and harmony.